Hello, my name is Joe, and what we're going to be looking at in our little Houdini adventure is part three of creating our rope bridge. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity engine assets. So previously, we added our ropes going across the top and the bottom here, and um, our planks with some simple type ropes here. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is orient these so that they look like they're actually following the rope rather than looking like steps, and add some position. Um, randomization so they don't all look perfectly in line and then we're going to texture it so first off we will position these along the line correctly so we want to find um, this part of our um, project here which basically copies the steps to the points and on the part with the point just before uh, after the blast sorry drag off of that and go orient and then slot that in. So that's going to go a bit nuts. And then we want to just go back uh, to our merge here so we can see everything and go back to our orient and then just on the uh, target up vector, just set that to Z axis. So we can see there that that has moved it in the correct position, but it's moved it down. So what we'll do here is we'll, after our copy to points, is we'll go transform, not soft transform. Try that again, transform, slot that in. And then what we want to do is just position this so it's uh, correctly up here. So we'll just uh, slide that on up and there we go. So that is added our uh, little planks here across correctly and now it looks more like a bridge. So now what we're going to do is we are going to randomize these position. And now we're going to use a thing called uh, point jitter. And um, this is just a very simple way of doing this. So we'll drag off after our orient along curve and go point uh, jit, there we go, slot that in, and you can see here it's gone absolute chaos. So what we'll do is we'll go to the point jitter and go to the axis scale and just set everything back to zero. We also want to update, uh, to untick update norms, because you can see here um, it's all gone a bit, uh, it's come off the line and it's no longer following the curve. So as soon as we do that, you can see that snapped back down. So in the scale axis here, we'll put points, say try zero, two, and you can see there that it's knocked off these so that they're random. So we can obviously make that chaotic if we want. I think that's probably all right. It's just enough for it to look, um, you know, a bit unique. Um, these obviously, these can do uh, separate heights. Um, so let, yeah, let's, let's just add that in. So there's just a little bit here. This does uh, the gap spacing. Um, so we'll do that as well. So we've just got a little bit of random space in here. So you can see here it's all just a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit more um, realistic. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some color to it. So what we will do is we will start on our post. So let's go over here. I've just got some simple text textures from um, uh, textures.com. Uh, for wood and whatnot, so nothing special here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our post first. So we'll drag off after the post here, after the poly bevel, and we'll do uh, auto UV. And what that's going to do is that's obviously going to automatically add our UVs, and then we'll drag off with the auto v UV, the UV, and do a uh, quick material, and plonk that in there. You can see that goes white. Then we're going to change the material type to PBR. And then we're going to tick our textures, our roughness, use textures, our metallic, use textures, our normal, use textures, and our uh, occlusion, use textures. And then what we're going to do is we're going to locate our textures folder. And we're going to, so this is our wood. Um, we're going to locate our albedo, so you can see there. Um, then we're going to go down to our... Uh, where are we? Roughness and find our roughness and we want to invert that um, and then scroll down to our metallic and select our metallic, scroll down to our normal, select our normal so now you can see here we're getting a little bit more looking like wood and select down to our occlusion and there we go so that's our wood post done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, copy what we've just done here and we're just going to go to our planks. So if we go over to here, locate our planks, which I believe is this. And ooh, don't do what I just did there. Let's just select these, shift them up, paste our UVs, just get rid of that connection, drag that in, ooh, drag that in, and drag 
uh, that into there and then delete that connection. So now we've got our wood planks. So in theory, when we do that, there we go. We've got our wood planks there. So now, obviously, we've got the rope. So what we'll do here is we will go to our initial ropes here, which are, the I guess, the support ropes. And I'm just going to drag these down just to make a little bit of space. And just after or before the copy, um, we want to just snap these into here. And obviously, that's wood at the moment. So we'll go to our quick material, and we just want to basically re- assign these to our ropes, so our B-Day, um, our roughness, our, uh, it doesn't have a metallic, so we'll just untick that because obviously um, normal, um, there we go, and occlusion, there we go, and now what we need to do is we just want obviously this to be show a little bit more detail on our rope. We're obviously just doing something very quick here. So what we'll do is we'll just click on our auto UV here and just press five on the keyboard. You can see you should have something similar to this. So if we knock the grain tolerance down here, you can see here that it's just um, snap them up a little bit more into indi uh, bigger individual sections. And this should probably work all right for us. What we need to do here. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And um, then we'll go back to our quick material, press one on the keyboard, that'll take us back. Yeah, we've got a little bit more of a rope look here. And we'll just click on our material and just do use models tangents. Um, that should work a bit. That'll do the job for what we need. So then what we're gonna do is copy this, uh, well, not that, copy the UVs, copy the material. And we just wanna make sure that that's copied to both ropes. Yes, it is. And then we need to go to our post as that obviously has these ropes here. And what we're gonna do is just before the copy is plonk them in. So we go like that and snap them in, check they're all right. And um, yeah, you can see here where we've sort of uh, rotated these a little bit randomly. They're not are falling identical on what we needed to do. So um, what has happened there? We are, uh, 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 is obviously we, uh, I forgot we had two, two ropes here. So what we'll do is go to just the second rope here, just before the copy on that rope, same principle again, paste it in. And now when we go to the merge here, there we go. It's got our ropes, so we're getting somewhere. So now when we go back to our merge here, we are, we actually have a little bit of a bridge here. So now we've got the final, um, ropes here so that is over I believe here so again same principle plonk it in before uh, the copies and there we go so we've got our rope bridge here now so what we can do here is perhaps add just a little bit of variation in color so let's go to our um, planks first because obviously they're the most noticeable so I believe if we go um, randomize and leave that as it is drop this down we're getting a little bit of randomization in the plank color here now I believe if we do that and do the same over here on the posts there we go we're getting a little bit of randomization there not so different, I think that's because obviously we're fixing what we're doing here. And we obviously want the same on the, uh, something on the rope as well, I believe. Paste. So what's going on there? So there we go, it's pretty full. So now you can see here, we've got a little bit of randomization here. And what we can do is say, well, we're not, you know, with the planks, we can go to our plank randomization here and uh, we can adjust this. So it's a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. And um, so you can see here, we've got our um, little procedural bridge that we can use to, you know, uh, basically create loads of other bridges. Obviously you could add foliage to this, all sorts, you know, you're not limited to obviously just using the stuff inside Houdini. You can make a lot better planks with gouges missing out of them and um, things like that, you know. So um, 
we've got we've got this all controlled by our curve so we can go click on our curve click on the points and just show our curve select our mouse here if I actually click on it would help get rid of that so I accidentally edit that in get there in a minute um, so what's going on here select our point and go sorry there we go that's what we want that's what we want um, that's it yeah it, sometimes it does this press escape then select your bridge curve press enter and now we can enter the points so then we'll just go back to our merge here so now we've got um, if we hide that there um, what is going on? What is going on? What have I done? Um, somehow managed to turn off the shaded view there. So sorry about that. Get there in a minute. It's going so well as well. Um, what we'll do is we just go back up to our curve. So again, select our curve, hit enter. That brings our curve up. We can select it and then we can do what we want with it. Because so now we've got this where we can adjust this. You can see here it's all doing it as um, procedurally. We can say, well, I want the, the bridge to be longer, I want it to be higher, um, I want it to be, you know, a bit more of a curve there. You can add another curve point in if you wanted to, you know, can make it less, you know, more of a, lesser of a bend in it. So um, you can see here, here that we're getting a slight issue that I don't quite know how to solve yet. That's what's happening is when it's going up above um, the the post uh, the original posts um, point that is flipping the bridge over, but I, I, I'm sure in the future we'll figure that out. So you can see here as soon as I go below it, you know it's absolutely fine. So yeah, we've um, learned new things here how to generate um, obviously uh, things like random uh, positioning of planks and things like that. Um, Obviously, this is very simple. When you render it out, it will look a lot better. Um, but this gives us an idea of how we can create bridges um, and using, you know, a curve here to get some nice bends. And, you know, I'm sure there's other ways of doing this. And um, but yeah, hopefully this has helped. If it has, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for potential um, things we could try, please let, do let me know. And yeah, cheers.